Before I get started in uh, showing you how to set up assembly view, uh, I want to show you this instance where we have a uh, slope pipe going in both directions, sloping in, in both directions in the y-axis. How I separate these is from left to right, this is a slope up and this is a slope down. So when I create my user coordinate systems, I have a Y slope minus and a Y slope plus. So when you're in the when you're in here and you're going to be editing fittings along these two lines, you have a, a UCS for each slope. In a previous video I showed you how to uh, create a fitting for slope pipe and rotate it and then save it out as a block to be reinserted in, in other drawing files. Well here I think is something that is easier and quicker and it is the uh, assembly view and it looks like this. Now you notice we've got a learning. This is the spec. Okay, and that's going to probably be on your network. The global, however, is something that you can change to your local drive and create your own assembly views uh, on your local. And you do that by going into the uh, program under specs and copying the global assembly views to a folder on your local and then just rename this to... Uh, Go down here real quick and you can just highlight it and rename it to whatever you want so when you create your fittings now you want to make sure that you're on the proper um, pipe type uh, because if you try to do a PVC fitting and put it into a into a uh, stainless steel they, it, it doesn't work. So this is really easy to use, so forgive me if I insult your intelligence, but you want to make sure you're working in the global. I'll say new. And you just follow your prompts. What? There we go. Make assembly. Select components. Well, we'll pick this. Pick insert point. An assembly name. And I'm going to call this a lateral, vertical, capped. And this one's at a one percent slope and there it is now when it comes time to insert it this is why it's so much quicker we'll select that insert assembly now you can pick where you want it and it doesn't make any difference the size of the pipe because it's going to ask you what you want to make it. Pretty slick, huh? Now, here's something you got to be careful of. If you're making a fitting like this, you've got to leave yourself enough room between the fittings for expansion because as these as your pipe size gets bigger your fittings get bigger and it starts shrinking up this uh, the pipe in between connecting them you can always modify that um, once you once you bring it in um, you still have to if you're gonna if you're gonna connect this line this branch to this main and still maintain uh, your elevation here 
you're, you're still going to have to do what we always do with, with uh, taking this portion of the pipe, right? And putting it on the end of that, except it's the wrong size. But anyway, you, you see what I'm getting at. Same process as what I've shown before and how to connect this branch to this main using this fitting assembly. So now I'm in a system service file that's uh, using PVC pipe and I've made a fitting here for a capped branch and I've already rotated to the slope and I've made this as big as I could so that way if I have to insert it smaller I don't have to worry about the, the fittings not connecting it's better to have it too big than too small I'll show you what happens now so we'll go over here and this is what I called it we'll insert assembly Even though I made it 20 inches, it's asking me what size I want to do it at. We'll just do the default. You're going to go back and pull this back. But you can see what happens if you, if you, make, if you make this too small and try to put it in a bigger pipe. It's going to shrink it up. It's going to go the other way. Um, what else do I want to show you? I want to show you, this is a lateral roll to a 1% slope. That means that this lateral, I rolled it so the branch was a 1% slope. But let's use this one instead. Now, it's going to bring it in to the main pipe setting so if this is a 16 inch line I want to make sure that's set to 16 inch for this application because this application you can't cannot this is one of those applications where you have to copy stuff around to your branch main align your pipes up, get an intersection point, and then insert this uh, lateral. If you want to maintain the same pipe elevation without moving it, if you don't, if you don't care about where this branch line runs, then it doesn't make any difference what size you have. It'll, it'll default like this uh, capped uh, lateral did. So just be aware of that. If, you, if you're going to put something in like this that you need to uh, move parts to, you want to bring it in to the size that you're going to be connecting to.